Does the Most High God have a divine counsel? Hypothesis and scriptural support. Presupposition. Interpreted in its original context, the Bible affirms that the Most High God is unique, that no one else can create living beings nor resurrect the dead. Hypotheses. The Most High maintains around him a council of created beings with whom he discusses matters and who closely observe his works and actions. The members of this divine council who have rebelled against the Most High are to be excluded and replaced with redeemed human beings. 21 Scriptural Proofs 1. At the Creation Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. 2. In Eden Satan, you were in Eden, the garden of God, on the day that you were created. I placed you, you were on the holy mountain of God. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, above the stars of God. I will make myself like the Most High. The Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. 3. At the Fall The sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. The angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, he has kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness, until the judgment of the great day. 4. At Babel The Lord God said, Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, so that they may not understand one another's speech. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, he fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God. 5. In the Heavens There was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. 6. In the Exodus Blessed be the Lord, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods, because in this affair they dealt arrogantly with the people. The Lord alone guided his people, no foreign god was with him. 7. In Pagan Religion They stirred him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations they provoked him to anger. They sacrificed to demons that were no god, to gods they had never known, to new gods that had come recently. They have forsaken me and worshipped Ashtoreth the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh the god of Moab, and Milcom the god of the Ammonites. 8. In Prophetic History I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne. Above him stood the seraphim. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. A spirit came forward and stood before the Lord, saying, I will entice him. I will go out, and will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, you are to entice him, and you shall succeed, go out and do so. 9. In Popular Religion And the woman said to Saul, I see a God coming up out of the earth. He said to her, What is his appearance? And she said, An old man is coming up, and he is wrapped in a robe. And Saul knew that it was Samuel, and he bowed with his face to the ground and paid homage. 
for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. The Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. 10. An Apostate Religion If a man or woman has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, or the sun or the moon or any of the host of heaven, which I have forbidden. They went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known and whom he had not allotted to them. 11. In the Divine Council God has taken his place in the Divine Council, in the midst of the gods he holds judgment. I said, You are gods, sons of the Most High, all of you, nevertheless, like men you shall die, and fall like any prince. On that day the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven, and the kings of the earth, on the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners in a pit, they will be shut up in a prison, and after many days they will be punished. 12. Above the Gods There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. The Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. Worship him, all you gods. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. 13. Before the Gods Give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. I give you thanks. O Lord, with my whole heart, before the gods I sing your praise. 14. Amongst the Watchers The sentence is by the decree of the Watchers, the decision by the word of the Holy Ones, to the end that the living may know that the Most High rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will. A stream of fire issued and came out from before him. A thousand thousands served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. 15. In the Underworld Christ went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me, they open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. 16. When Messiah came. Two demon-possessed men met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? In the synagogue there was a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Ha! What have you to do with us, Jesus? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, Behold, I have given you authority to tread over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. The spirits are subject to you. 17. According to the Gospel To all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Do you not know that the saints will judge the world, that we are to judge angels? 18. In the present age I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The rulers of this age are doomed to pass away, 
but we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. 19. In Heavenly Places Through the Church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. We wrestle against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. 20. At the End Times Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders, clothed in white garments, with golden crowns on their heads. Before the throne were the seven spirits of God. I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders, the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands. 21. During Coming Ages He has granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. Conclusion The Most High God is expanding his divine counsel, making it a vast everlasting family of spiritual beings and of human beings who obey his Messiah, Jesus Christ.